Let's go ahead and read about the search warrant for Brian Koberger. It was re or unsealed today. So I'm going to read an article. I know some of you guys do not care for the New York Post, but I did look at other site sources and it seems right on board with what they have to say. So Washington State University police recovered a possibly bloodstained mattress cover, human hairs, a glove, and a computer from Brian Koberger's apartment, according to a search warrant that was unsealed in Washington court today. Police executed a search warrant at the 28-year-old PhD student's home and office at Washington State University in Pullman on December 29th. That same day, as Pennsylvania police and a SWAT team had raided his parents' house and took him into custody in the early morning hours. Now, according to the search warrant, the Washington State University police also seized two cuttings from an uncased pillow with a, quote, reddish-brown stain, unquote, one type of black glove, eight possible hair strands, a possible animal hair strand, and other evidence, including possible blood stains, which were sent to a lab for testing. So again, this is what is in the warrant, the search warrant that they did release, and it, w it was unsealed and released today. So what do you guys think with what I have just mentioned? Do you think that's enough? Because right now, innocent until proven guilty. And I know a lot of you guys were saying it's just not enough evidence on Brian, even though that thumbprint fingerprint was left on the sheath buckle. A lot of you guys are just saying it's not enough. And I completely understand that because a lot could be said as far as the reasons on how that print got to that sheath. So many things could be said. But let me know what you guys think about this information in this search warrant that was unsealed. The other items that were seized were a Walmart receipt and Dickie's tag, two receipts from a Marshall store, the dust container from Abyssal vacuum, and I know I said hair strands, but I think they had said eight possible hair strands, a fire TV stick, and a single possible animal hair strand, and then four other possible hairs, and a computer tower. And then additionally, they took several bedroom items, and that was the cuttings from an uncased pillow, and it had the reddish brown stain on that, and then a mattress cover that had multiple stains.